In the beginning, God created the heavens and He created the earth. He created every living thing upon the earth. Thousands of years later, along comes myself, Ed Waters, and I created Free Circle so I could bring you the fireside. We want to bring you truth with integrity, insight that's right, and stories that matter the most today. So climb on in, buckle up, let's take a ride on the fire side. Welcome to the show, it's 5 o'clock on the Pacific Coast side, Southern Oregon, right in the center of it, Klamath Basin. Hope you're having a good evening, folks. Today I kind of want to talk about technology and what it is and how we are implementing it into our life. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. Let's kind of talk about it, though. But first... As always, you can find us on the web at freecircle.website. We have a phone in line, 971-533-7805. Or you can email us at freecircle.website, freecircle at mail.com, excuse me. (laughs) Live show, people. And also, if you go to freecircle.website, you can find a contact form. Send us information. We have the newsletter, the Free Circle Freelancer. It comes out each month. You want to check that out. You can find all the past newsletters on the website. You can follow us on our podcast Everything that we do basically ends up over there at freecircle.website. Just use Google. Google Free Circle. See what pops up. We're there. I'm sure of it. Anyway, technology. It's a darn good thing. Technology, if used in the right manner and in, in the right area it can be a wonderful thing however I see that the use of technology is kind of getting out front of the legislation part of this technology so I think we need to slow down a little bit with technology it's advancing so rapidly anymore we are seeing some amazing things coming out very quickly anymore the way we use it well that's up to the individual the end user but I tell you I look at things like DARPA and it's quite alarming Why do we need so much technology in warfare? Shouldn't we be putting that type of effort in diplomacy? I don't know. Just an opinion, folks. I think we're getting out of control with our technology. The more technology that we get implemented into our lives, the dumber society tends to get. Because we get lazy. We don't have to remember. We've got Google. And that's dangerous. Also, in the farming end of things, uh, production, you know, there's a lot of technology going in on things that 
do things for you. I don't think it's a good idea. We should be knowing how to actually take a number two shovel and go out and turn some ground with a shovel instead of a rototiller. Use what God gave you, your muscles and your brain, and subdue the earth. That's the big idea here, folks. But we are getting lazy and we want things done for us. And I think we're in this race to have robots and everything done for us so we don't have to do anything. When we get that far, it can be pretty dangerous because you lose the art of self-sufficiency. And that's my concern. People, oh, well, I can Google it if I have. What if Google wasn't here all of a sudden? Google's gone. You know nothing. So I'm talking about educating yourself to make sure of your own survivability rate. Because when all else fails and everything is gone, all you have to rely on is yourself and what you've retained over the years. So this technology boom, it's wonderful. I love all of it because if it's used properly, boy, there's nothing like it. You can sure communicate effectively. You can pass your message on. So there's a lot of good things to do with technology. But my concern, like I said, let's make sure that we understand when it comes down to the brass tacks that you can take care of yourself and your family and survive any sort of catastrophic event so let's dive into understanding how to take care of yourself and your family we're going to concentrate a little bit more on that on these live shows at five but anyway that's basically it for this evening thank you for joining me you know keep on checking us out we have a new show It's Free Circle Freedoms. Be watching for that on Facebook and Twitter, on the website. Anyway. Well, that's it for another Free Circle Fireside. Thank you for joining us. You can find us on the web at freecircle.website. You can join in on the live shows or leave a message and we'll get your voice out over the message. The call in line is 971 533 7805. Join Free Circle, get your voice out, and thank you for joining the fireside. Ed, Free Circle, out. <laughs>